Hey, what's up my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well today, baby, this is your daily reminder that Tristan Thompson is a GD idiot and Chloe is the biggest dum-dum for following him. Y'all, Chloe is losing her mind because Tristan and Kim are getting too close for comfort. Now here's the thing, right? Is something happening between Tristan and Kim? No. Do I think Tristan will push it if he can? Absolutely, because Baby, all we have is his past actions indicative of his future. But baby, Kim is the one that Chloe is, is transgressing. Again, Courtney tried to tell her, Kim takes everything, even a half a man. She is making Tristan sub in as, I guess, as sub Kanye, even though Saint don't want anything of it. Did you see pictures with Saint and Tristan? Saint is the happiest little kid in the world. And Tristan got him out here, literally giving a screw face all over. But y'all, before we get into how Chloe was absolutely humiliated by Kim and the way Kim keeps overstepping boundaries, does Kim think everything is for her? Or does she see Tristan being not even a good dad, but faking like he's good dad. And now she wants that for herself. She don't even want Tristan, but she wants Tristan to come play daddy to her kids. Because uh, Kanye's in Italy, right? But you don't even care how it's affecting Chloe. Chloe's out here being a stressed out single mom. But y'all, before we get into that, can we just talk about how stupid Tristan is and how every day I'm like, Chloe, your biggest embarrassment and also, I guess your biggest flex would be how you let someone that is meant, like he's, there's something wrong. Like Tristan is just not that smart. I'm not like on any level. He is not that smart socially. He's not that smart uh, covering up his cheating. He's not, but look at this, this man. And I see how him and Chloe get together. They both literally just post dumb things. But listen to what Tristan and his God complex posted. And the sad thing is, Chloe is sitting here breathing life into this idiot that is just using all your motivational mess to walk all over you. Tristan said, posted this, and I do not lie. When a leader walks in the room, actually, let me read this in Tristan's voice. Like, when a leader walks in a, the room, my my man, my homie. You know he talks like a Canadian thuggish Rogers Valley girl, right? Take this man seriously. Anyway, when a leader walks, like when a leader walks in the room, the followers feel intimidated. The snakes feel threatened. But the next leaders, they feel inspired. Y'all, Tristan is so funny. This is comedy. Chloe should feel so stupid for letting someone this stupid player over and over and over. When a, and for anyone thinking like, no, but that's wisdoms. Baby, man, woman, I don't know. Tattletales, tells we are everything. Please go find yourself. Go talk to your friends. Go talk to your family. Just go do something. They, when a leader walks in the room, Tristan, how would you know? You're not a leader. Unless you were trying to repopulate the world, unless you're trying to literally make sure that plan B is abolished in every single state, unless you are here to ensure that there will be a generation of children raised without any father figure, what are you leading? What are you besides cheerleading on LeBron's bench? Besides putting yourself out there for 16,000, because again, this is where Tristan gets his power. Let me go off on this tangent. I remember, I remember the, the last season. I recap, keep it up with the Kardashians. You can go catch the last season if you want to see what happened. It was really, ugh. Chloe came off as such a, ugh, and she deserves Tristan. Tristan has no problem acting like he is a starving child in a war impoverished country, and a savior comes to bring him up. And this isn't shade to anybody in a war torn country at all. Understand what I'm saying. He likes to play for people's pity. He wants people to pity him. He wants Chloe, that's where he gets his power over her, to be like, ugh, treat him like he's like some, some Neanderthal, an errant dog that's just like, like just going crazy. He gets off on that. That's how, just by playing stupid, I can't control myself. Oh, I can show my person again. What is? And Chloe wants to be like mama savior. Tristan, when you have, um, like, Tristan has no problem having people pity him, which makes me think he's a narcissist. I'm being serious because it's just like disgusting. But LeBron threw him pity. 
And from that, he got a job on Sports Center because his mama just died, even though he literally exploited, in my opinion, his mama's death for ratings. And he's definitely letting Chloe and the Kardashians exploit his brother. Amari was never on TV. The Kardashians never wished Amari a happy birthday, ever. Kim, Chloe, Chloe, oh my God, I love Amari. He's, I promised her. You never wish that boy a happy birthday. You never posted on your Instagram. I didn't even know Tristan had three little brothers, let alone one that was special needs. You barely posted for Tristan's mom. Barely. All the pictures, you, like, Tristan, what are you talking about? And now all of a sudden, Amari got the camera in him while he's struggling to stand up. And y'all acting like this is like some white savior poverty porn. It's weird. It's weird. It's disgusting. And Tristan's playing into it. Even the way Tristan made it seem like he didn't have a big Jamaican family swooping in to help with their family's death. And Tristan was all alone and needed Kim's private jet. And thank you on the jet being like Chris Jenner cried more about what happened to Andrea than Tristan. And Tristan giving the, I just want to thank everybody. That's how I know y'all family and you love me. And the whole time Tristan's like, baby, I see you, right? But you can't trust in somebody in death. So I'll just let this go. But honestly, Tristan, who's the leader? The followers feel intimidated. You are a follower. You are a flunky. The snakes feel threatened. You are a snake. Is this how Tristan feels when anybody walks in a room, intimidated, threatened? You're not the next leader. So how you feel and inspire? Y'all, might I remind you that this is the same man. Can we just take you down memory lane, right? That said, that literally was messing with a girl. She thought she was infertile. They were messing around for almost a year. She got pregnant, right? Tristan told her he was single the whole time. When she said, I'm pregnant, Tristan said, I'm engaged. She was like, Mara Lee was like, you literally just told me you're engaged and you're trying to be your family. I didn't even know you were engaged. You have a record of treating me like absolute ish. And this whole situation has been upsetting. And that's one thing I do know that Marley is probably snickering to herself. Tristan's the type of trash that no matter how many pretty pictures Chloe puts up, no matter how much she tries to speak life into him, I feel in my heart, Somebody like Tristan doesn't change. He is treating you just as bad, if not worse, than he treated Marley. You can't tell me he's not. You cannot tell me. He said he's just never going to treat anyone well. Chloe is just putting up a front like he's Mr. 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 Perfect until we find out he got another girl pregnant or he's cheating her on her again. Um, Tristan replied several days later, I'm engaged, but I'll be married soon. I told you I won't and can't be in the child's life at all by no means. He wasn't joking, but again, he said, why not wait till you find the right person to have a family with? Why would you want a baby with a man that's engaged? You want to keep a mistake. First of all, Tristan is trash for saying this. Second off, for all y'all being like she knew, Marley actually put in the court findings and had doctor's notes behind it to say that up to that point, she thought that she was infertile and Theo was literally her miracle baby. Y'all really expect a woman who thinks that she can never have children, who just lost her father, I think the year before. Tristan plays, preys on women that lose their parents. She just lost her father the year before. She thought that she could never have children. She gets pregnant, which what she thinks is a miracle baby. And you're saying that this woman should have put herself on the table and gotten rid of it? Because what? Tristan don't know how to control himself because what? Tristan doesn't know the consequences of his actions. Now, I do agree. Tristan said he wasn't going to be a part of the baby's life, but that doesn't mean that Marley has to hide like it's a scarlet letter or hide, hide Theo like it's her shame. And you know what? I'll be the first person to say, we need to normalize pushing mofos out front to be fathers. The same way we force women when they get pregnant, you gotta be a mother. You lay down, you knew what you was doing. The same thing with men, the baby's here. Grow that F up, Tristan. And that baby look more like you than that baby you are gallivanting around with Chloe. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tatum's a little cute little chunk chunk, but that baby looked just like Chloe's original face. Again, you can do all the Photoshop pictures you want doing side by side. How can you, and again, of course, Tatum, cute little chunk chunk, but how can you deny even someone that looks just like you? But look what he did to Prince, right? And Prince's first two years, Jordy's court paper said Tristan maybe saw him five, six times in his first two years of life. Anyway, right? 
Um, he then said that he was, he said just, then he popped up and said, just a heads up, me and my fiance are going to announce publicly about our marriage. Just a heads up, we're probably moving out the country in September and live either in Europe or the Caribbean. Better living for us and our family away from the BS in America. Y'all, listen, I have no doubt. This is why Chloe got so mad because usually whenever Tristan gets into trouble, Chloe and her lawyers and her bank account go after it and make it go away. Tristan tried to make this go away because they were actually, they were engaged at this time, even though I think they are still engaged. For God's sakes, Chloe lives with this man, but it's okay. It's Chloe's life. I'm just waiting for her to pop up on Instagram crying about how God heard her, didn't bless her, this, that, and the third. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn some lights on. Okay, so anyway, let's get back into the report of Chloe being devastated because she found out a house is just a house. A dog is just a dog and a dirt bag is just a dirt bag. Again, Kim and, Con Kim and Kanye, Kim and Tristan showed up in Miami. They hung out late into the night, lots of alcohol and vibe. But they even matched, so they look like a couple. They said Kim wore a very se sexy outfit. They matched perfectly and frankly looked like a couple. The night didn't end at the Japanese steakhouse. Kim and Tristan hit up Live Nightclub together where they partied late into the night. They said Chloe's devastated, but this time she's blaming her sister, not Tristan. It's humiliating to be sitting at home in LA taking care of Tristan's kids while her sister and ex are out partying in public. Baby, you reap what you sow. And Kim reaped everything she sowed. Listen, let me know what y'all think in the thing. This is an entire mess and it will stay an entire mess, but that's gonna be Chloe's life forever. Y'all listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.